Well, it's a government commissioned uh, report which says that organisations like Just Up All, which drive us nuts, don't they? And Palestine Action, behind all those marches on Saturdays, should be prescribed as if they are a terror organisation. So this report, led by former Labour MP and friend of this show, John Woodcock, recommends creating extreme protest restriction orders, which could see the groups banned. So is uh, Woodcock, Lord Warney, as he now know, know uh, is he right, protest groups should be treated like terror organisations? I can see what he means, but we have to defend, don't we, the right to protest? We have to defend the right to protest. And also, one person's terror group might be just up oil, yeah. whereas they would be to other people. They are crusading for the future generations. I think it's, but it's those a, quite a dangerous person. But those marches on Saturday, right, A, haven't we heard, haven't they made their point? But when they are the Palestinian held, marches. The Palestinian marches, when Jewish men and women feel they cannot go near central mm -hmm. London because they feel intimidated, and we've heard the anti-Semitic abuse, which isn't stopped by the police, is that, should those marches be stopped? What I don't understand about the Just Up Oil protesters is that, according to various commentators, the police already have sufficient powers yeah. to move them on, and they're just not using them. So why? We have to be really careful, I think, that we don't have this uh, crisis situation with these protesters who do cause huge disruption, but the solution to that problem affects then all of us in any sphere in which we might wish to have our voices heard. Well, let's have a discussion like this. Joining us now is Kevin Schofield, well known to this programme. He's from the HuffPost UK and the political commentator Benedict Spence. Gentlemen, good morning. Uh, Kevin, let's talk to you first with your bleeding heart liberal hat on here, um, <laughs> if you don't mind me saying so. Um, what's your take on this? Is, it, is he going too far in saying that groups like Just Up Oil should be treated like terrorists? Yeah, I find myself in agreement with yourself here, Andrew. Uh, I think it is going too far. Just Up Oil are annoying. The whole point of them is that they're annoying. They will admit that they are annoying. That is the whole purpose of what they do. They want to annoy people and cause as much disruption as possible. But I think prescribing them effectively as if they were a terrorist organisation, I think most people would agree that that's a step too far. I think the main problem here is um, they think they can act with impunity because the cases take so long to come to court. It can be years between arrest and potential Convictions, so you can absolutely understand why they think, well, it's worth the hassle because we're not going to see the inside of a court for a very long time, so we might as well do it. Surely it's better to invest more money in um, freeing up this log jam within the court system and therefore allowing the police to um, use the powers that they have to disperse these protests and then uh, see these people eventually see some sort of justice. I think that is the problem here, that they feel they can act with impunity. I think that, I think that would be a better solution rather than just using a, a sledgehammer to crack a nut. Mm. Benedict Spence, do you have similar concerns about civil liberties if we have governments saying that you can't, that any protester is effectively a terrorist? I think that what we've seen with organisations like Just Stop Oil, but also with, uh, I suppose, to a lesser degree, perhaps the pro-Palestine marches um, on a small scale, individuals perhaps behaving in a certain way, is that as Britain society becomes far less about high trust, protesters feel that they can, as Kevin says, they can act with impunity, they can misbehave, and that in some ways the smallness of their protests actually justifies their misbehaving. And I think we you know, you think back to things like the Countryside Alliance marches or the protests against the war in Iraq, where you had huge numbers of people actually taking to the streets. But there was never any sort of real suggestion that these people were going to go out and act, uh, go out and act in a criminal fashion mm. with impunity. Actually, one of the things that we had in this country for a very long time was the fact that people could go on demonstrations and actually be trusted up to a point uh, to behave. There were some, you know, exceptions, obviously, to that. Um, but it, it increasingly, I think, when it came to marches across our capital city, that was the case. But what seems to actually define things like just stop oil um, is the wanton desire to cause vandalism and destruction. It's not like they go out and they march and nobody listens and so they try to ratchet it up. It's the default mode that they go into art galleries, that they go mm. into places of work, that they cause criminal damage. And also, frankly, they risk things becoming very dangerous because one of the things that we have to remember about all of this is if you go out rather than simply to protest and make your voice heard, but to deliberately irritate and wind people up, you risk maybe making other members of the public um, a party to it because people will get angry, people will react. If they're not able to get to 
work, if they are you know, having their days disrupted, if people are ill and they need to get to see a doctor and you have some environmentalist, some 80 year old environmentalist who has nowhere else better to be other than gluing themselves to a road, you do risk people actually taking matters into their own hands. And it is much the responsibility of the police to stop that from happening. So whilst I don't like the idea of us moving towards a direction where we are overly criminalizing organizations and using language like prescribing them like they're a terrorist organization, which is difficult enough as it is, given that there are actual terrorist organizations that we don't prescribe in this country for various reasons. I just think that the longer that we indulge a lot of these groups, and they are fringe groups, frankly, they are quite extreme in their views, the longer that we indulge this and we do not take them more seriously, the more likely it is that right now a lot of people don't necessarily agree with prescribing them, uh, agree with prescribing them, but that could very easily change. Mm.